Okay, so today I'm going to be covering how I connected my quad stick to the drone. Um, I, I know I haven't covered the Bluetooth section. Um, maybe because I just, I don't really want to use my phone on the quad stick. Well, I mean with the quad stick, so I haven't really figured out how great I can make it. Um, I will hopefully in the future, but usually... You can do it through the QMP, which is on the Mist tab, as you see right here. Um, you know, you would put like what you want your control to be. It could be a keyboard. You can make it become a gamepad, which is what we want. You can make it to a mouse. You can make it into a combo, which is combo is basically mouse and keyboard configurations. And then joystick uh, kind of speaks for itself. SSP, I believe it's for like when using voice control as in with dragon with it to send like mm, bluetooth commands over between the quad stick and the laptop but that's gets too confusing it gets laggy it's it's cool but it's not practical mm, the second column would be authorizations i don't think i have any problems usually i used um i used two one and zero i believe i think by default it's four um, you kind of use them all and see which one works for you. Uh, I will go over in a second. And then the way it pairs. Um, I haven't tried anything other than pair. Because I had no problem with just pairing it. Um, and then most uh, normally you would just save it and just it would load into the quad stick. But I'm not going to do it this way. Mm. I'm very picky about my settings for my quad stick. And I don't like to mix and match them. I like to make them... Or specific profiles so I have looked through the QMP and I got ideas especially from Bluetooth Android preferences but this is preferences I didn't want it to be that way and I'll show you um, this is what the preferences look like for the Bluetooth Android default preferences on the QMP I'll list it in the link below but I'm gonna say it again this is not an actual profile this is preferences so do not download this onto your quad stick Use this to take ideas. Use this to take, you know, to copy some lines if you want to make your own personal profile, which I did. And out of all of these, the most important ones are these right here. Lines 36 to 39 and maybe 43, depending on your choice. So since I took those ideas, this is my Bluetooth drone control, right? I want to use it on my phone. I want to use it to whatever I can hook it up to. So, um, how did I do it? Uh, well, one, I wanted to make sure my controller is red like a controller. And I tried Xbox 360 emulation, you know, right here on line 9. I changed it to 3. But I felt more comfortable making it to a pure PlayStation controller. I don't know if it's really necessary. I just felt comfortable this way. So I set it to 4, which is PlayStation emulation. The next thing I did was made sure my connection was set to pair. I tried number 2 for authorization mode, and it seemed to work just fine. My phone seemed to, um, to acknowledge that there's a controller. And to make sure it's a gamepad, line 5. Dev Bluetooth device mode, which is gamepad. Uh, if you go to the back to the QMP, I'm showing you for those who don't have this. Um, it's set as a device, Bluetooth device, and I made sure it was gamepad. So if I went to here, I typed it out as such. And you can get all this information on the Quasic online manual. I will put the link to the Bluetooth settings down below. And here you can just copy and paste. That's literally what I did. I just Highlighted it, copied it, made sure I found the right line to put it on. And I did it right here. So if you wanted to, just for a quick example, if you wanted to make uh, your quad stick into a mouse on your phone, you could. You could do that easily. You gotta erase this part. Type in mouse. And just for, sh for, for simplicity, I set the emulation to zero so it can run on the default emulation. 
and this right here should work just fine. So once you have this done, just make sure that, you know, you actually have a mouse mode. So like, you know, if your profile does not have any mouse commands, then it's not going to work. So make sure you just have a mouse mode in there somewhere or else this mouse Bluetooth device profile won't work for you. Just, just a precaution. So let me just uh, fix this up the way I had it before. Now, now that you have your settings intact, um, line eight, it says Bluetooth throttle. I think this is how fast it sends signals back and forth between the quadstick and the phone. By default, it's 15 milliseconds. Uh, if it's too laggy, you can try to minimize it. And if not, up the numbers. Kind of play with it, trial and error it. But yeah, once you're done with your settings, uh, please, please go to whatever mode you want to be controlling this on. I'm assuming all of them. Uh, go through each mode. And on column C, in purple, yours, I mean, mine says Bluetooth. If you click the little error, arrow, it says Bluetooth, none, and USB. By default, in almost every profile, it's set to USB, which that means your USB controls the commands. You want to set them to Bluetooth. That means every time you activate it on your quad stick, it's a Bluetooth command, not a USB command. So make sure they're all set to Bluetooth on the ones you want to be controlling through Bluetooth. Just like has to be set on Bluetooth or else it won't work. And that's pretty much it. This is all you do for making your Quasic into a Bluetooth profile. Make sure you have your settings set to the way you want them to be. And make sure your modes are set to Bluetooth. And that is it. Download it into your Quasic. And it should just, it should, you should find it on your phone if you have Bluetooth enabled. And here's an example of that.